Terraform Labs gets court approval to wind down its operations in the latest bankruptcy hearing, gaining investors' attention. A U.S. bankruptcy judge has approved the firm's plan, which came after its settlement with the U.S. SEC. Notably, the news appears to have boosted the market sentiment, as evidenced by the rally the Luna and LUNC prices today. A recent Reuters report highlighted the development, saying that the Terraform Labs has received legal approval to close its operations. In the latest bankruptcy hearing, Judge Brendan Shannon approved the firm's plan to liquidate its assets, sparking investors' optimism. The approval follows a settlement of the firm with the U.S. SEC. Notably, the agency has previously accused the company and its founder Du Quan of defrauding investors after the Terra USD and Luna collapse in 2022. Notably, the collapse has resulted in around $40 billion losses for the traders. Meanwhile, the judge has dubbed the approval as a welcome alternative to the extended lawsuit. Precisely, the approval would allow the company to start liquidating its remaining assets, with an estimated payout between $184.5 million and $442.2 million to investors and other stakeholders. However, the firm said that the exact amount of the eligible crypto losses remains unknown, saying that it is impossible to estimate the total losses that could be returned. Notably, Terraform Labs has agreed to settle the SEC lawsuit for $4.47 billion, though the agency is not expected to collect much from this settlement. The regulator has agreed to receive the payment only after the crypto losses claims are compensated during the liquidation process. This move highlights the agency's acknowledgement of the significant losses of investors. According to Terra Luna Price, a recent LUNC price analysis shows that the crypto could target $0.000135 if it breaks a crucial resistance ahead. This bullish forecast, amid Terraform Labs' bankruptcy development, appears to have bolstered the market sentiment, evidenced by the recent surge in prices. In addition, several positive developments in the Terra ecosystem have also boosted the market sentiment. For instance, Terra Luna Classic has successfully implemented the version 3.1.5 upgrade which focuses on security and other key aspects of the ecosystem. Well, before diving into the full details of this crypto, did you know you can make 10 to 20k a month online? This is where Nay Business YouTube channel comes in. My goal for this channel is to help you make your first 10k off the internet automatically for absolutely free. So right now, please head to the description box below, click on the channel link, subscribe and wait for my next videos. Without further ado, let's get into the details of this project. Terra is an open source blockchain payment platform for an algorithmic stablecoin which are cryptocurrency that automatically track the price of currencies or other assets. The Terra blockchain enables users to instantly spend, save, trade, or exchange Terra stablecoins. The Terra protocol creates stablecoins which are designed to consistently track the price of a fiat currency, a government-backed currency such as the US dollar or euro. It consists of two cryptocurrency tokens which include Terra and Luna. Terra are stablecoins that track the price of fiat currencies and are named after them. For instance, the base Terra stablecoin tracks the price of the International Monetary Fund's special drawing rights and is named Terra SDR or SDT. Other Terra stablecoin denominations include Terra USD, UST, which tracks the US dollar, and Terra KRW, KRT, which tracks the South Korean one. Users mint new Terra by burning Luna. Luna, on the other side, is used for governance and mining. Luna is the Terra protocol staking token, which absorbs the price volatility of Terra stablecoins. Users stake Luna to Terra blockchain miners, called validators, who record and verify transactions on the blockchain and receive rewards from transaction fees as compensation. As Terra's usage grows, Luna's worth increases as well. Primary features of Terra. Asterisk Terra aims to boost efficiency for payment service providers and value for customers in the rapidly developing Asian e-commerce sector. Asterisk Terra uses Cosmos blockchain technology to challenge existing retail payment apps. Asterisk Terra, being a complete end-to-end -end payment solution, avoids the present fragmented payment infrastructure. Asterisk using Terra's technology may save payment service providers hundreds of millions of dollars annually. 
Asterisk the Terra Crypto Network employs its native Luna currency as a utility and governance token to manage the collateralizing processes that back and safeguard the price stability of Terra's stablecoins. Pros and Cons of Terra Pros Asterisk the Terra ecosystem also includes a blockchain agnostic development platform that lets software developers construct their own protocols and dApps on top of Terra. Asterisk the Terra protocol supports several currency-linked stablecoins. Asterisk Terra Luna tokens help stabilize its stablecoin. It encourages trade between Luna and stablecoins to boost or decrease supply. Asterisk Terra introduced Anchor, a savings and lending system. This protocol lets users deposit and earn interest on stablecoins. Cons. Asterisk Terra is still lagging behind major cryptocurrency initiatives like Ethereum. Asterisk most Terra-related cryptocurrency transactions originate in Korea, where its creators reside. It is too early to tell if Terra-related currencies will catch on elsewhere. Asterisk Terra is less decentralized than Ethereum. This may turn off some blockchain purists. In detail, Terra is a payment system that resides and is built upon a blockchain. It was developed by South Korea-based Terraform Labs, which was founded in 2018 by Du Quan and Daniel Shin. Du Quan was formerly employed by Microsoft and Apple and founded a startup, Anify, which offered decentralized wireless mesh networking solutions. Shin is the founder and CEO of Asian payment technology company Chai, a Terra partner, and was co-founder of Korean e-commerce firm Tmon, also known as Ticket Monster. In its quest to become a leading e-commerce stablecoin payment and decentralized finance, DeFi service provider, Terra has a growing ecosystem in the crypto space with 114 projects across DeFi, Web 3.0, and non-fungible tokens, NFTs. Some of these projects include Asterisk Anchor Protocol, a fixed yield platform with borrowing yields and frictionless access. Asterisk Chai, a payments app with over 2 million users in South Korea. Asterisk Loterra, a decentralized lottery platform built on the Terra blockchain. Asterisk Mirror Protocol, allows for the creation of fungible assets or synthetics that track real-world asset prices. Asterisk Talus Protocol, a platform where artists can sell their creations and offer services. Asterisk Vega Protocol, a platform for minting and trading derivatives. Because the primary value of stablecoins is derived from the stability of the price peg, theoretically bypassing the volatility typical of cryptocurrencies, the Terra Protocol attempts to maintain the price of the Terra stablecoin by ensuring that the supply and demand for it are always balanced by employing arbitrage. Luna is the variable counterweight to the Terra stablecoin and absorbs its volatility. To understand how Terra works, Envision the entire Terra economy to consist of a Terra pool and a Luna pool, which are used to adjust the price via incentives for network participants. Despite the crash that happened last year, the developers are still working tirelessly underneath the project to ensure everything stays good. A few weeks ago, a news article arrived on CoinGate saying the Terra Luna Classic developers submitted a key proposal to introduce and boost liquid staking derivatives. According to the proposal, Developers seek to change the allowed interchain account host messages to bring Quicksilver support, an interchain liquid staking protocol for the Cosmos ecosystem. This allows the Quicksilver chain to transparently create and control accounts on the Terra Luna Classic chain and execute allowed messages. It will also allow interchain staking on any validators, as well as maximize liquidity and capital efficiency by improving network security and decentralization. Moreover, it removes the unbonding period wait requirement before a position holder is able to sell his staked assets. Seeing this, you should know that the Terra Luna developers are still working on the betterment of the project. This is to tell you that no hope is lost with Terra Luna yet. I believe everything will be fine soon. I also believe you can be rich off Terra Luna's investment. But it all depends on how much you are investing in Terra Luna Classic, how much you expect from the market, and how long you are willing to hold for. LUNC is the native token of Terra Luna. This will be the end of the video. Do not forget to like, share, subscribe, and invest wisely. Thanks.